Here's a question for you guys. Do you remember when you first started playing WoW? Because I remember, and let me say, I made quite a lot, and by a lot I mean a ton, of very noobish mistakes when I first started playing the game. So naturally I want to share some of those mistakes with you guys. And hopefully some of you have made the exact same mistakes and I won't feel as bad anymore. Alright, let's just get into it. Number one. One of the first times that I actually got to play World of Warcraft was at my grandmother's house. It was a long time ago and pretty much my cousin was there and she was taking care of my grandmother and while she was at work I would play WoW on her computer on her account and this lasted for about a week. Now what this means is I had no chaperone, nobody standing over my shoulder telling me, hey, you're doing this wrong, or hey, this is how you do that. Now I was playing a Tauren Shaman at the time, and for some reason, I didn't do the Tauren Shaman class quests. So I had no totems, because you had to do the class quest to get the totems. So all I had on my action bars was auto attack, my little, like, you know, flame tongue weapon buffs and rock biter weapon, and then the shock spells and lightning shield. And that was pretty much it. And so I was pretty much running around as this Torin Shaman warrior kind of character with absolutely none of my unique spells that made me a shaman. And here's the thing, I would go to my class trainer and I would see, you know, like Earthbind Totem, rank two, rank three, rank four, bleh, whatever and they would be read it out and I would think, why can I not get these abilities? I can afford them and I just didn't get it. And so for an entire week, I was the totemless Torin Shaman, running around, auto attacking everything and hitting stuff with earth shock. And that was it. And it was not until the day before we left that my cousin came home from work, stood over my shoulder and said, where are your totems at? and I had no idea what she was talking about, and she explained, and I felt like an idiot, so I had to run back to Mulgor and do the class quest. It was great. Number two. Before I played that Torin Shaman, my friend Ben actually let me play WoW a little bit over at his house on his account for maybe like 30 minutes to an hour before he would kick me off his computer. And I remember very fondly that I could never figure out how, like, how to tell the difference between an NPC and a player. Because I would see tons of NPCs everywhere, but at the time, our server was a very low-pop server, so I didn't really see many players. So, I just thought these NPCs walking around in Tyrus Fall Glades were players. Now, I got the quest to go and kill What's-His-Face in the Agamand Family Crypts. Never forget that quest, one of the hardest quests in the world, I love it. And I went back to Brill and I started saying in forward slash S, Hey, can, can any of you guys like help me? Can you guys help me with this quest? And I remember in particular, I went up to the death guard in Brill, the dude sitting on the horse. And I started saying to him, Hey, can, can you help me with this quest? Because I saw he was a really high level NPC and I thought he was a player. And I thought the dude was being a dick because he wasn't replying to me. Everyone was being a dick, no one was replying to me, so it took me a minute, but I eventually figured out, oh, th these are probably NPCs. Yeah. Number three. Speaking of that Warlock character, over several months of playing the game for like 30 minutes to an hour at my friend's house and whatever, I actually managed to get that character to level 10 level 10. And you know what that means. What's the first thing you do when you hit level 10? That's right. Warsong Gulch. So, I did my class quest. I got my Void Walker. I tried him out a little bit. I loved the Void Walker. He could like taunt mobs and stuff. So freaking cool. Then I ran to the battle master for Warsong Gulch and I queued up for my first battleground. And let me tell you, I got in that battleground and I was getting so frustrated and so angry. Because the thing is, the Voidwalker could taunt targets and make them attack him instead of attacking me. But in the battleground, I would tell my Voidwalker, hey, taunt that, that Dwarf Paladin, taunt that Dwarf Paladin. But the Dwarf Paladin would just run up and kill me. 
and I was getting so angry. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there like, why is this stupid taunt not working? I'm, I'm, I'm like manually even pressing the taunt button and it's not working on the players. And I got so frustrated from dying over and over and over that I went to my friend Ben, who was in the other room watching TV, and I said, Hey Ben, you play a warlock. A warlock is your main character. Why is the taunt of this Voidwalker not working on the players? And he just kind of laughed. And you can probably imagine why. <laughs> so, he, he quickly explained to me that taunt does not work on players, only mobs. Because why would it work on players? So it was a big noob moment for me, but it was great. Number four. So I finally got my own World of Warcraft account. I had played WoW at my friend's house. I had temporarily for a week played WoW on my cousin's account down at my grandma's. But now, at long last, I had my own account and I was ready. I made an undead mage and I was questing through the world. And let me tell you something. The biggest noob mistake that I made as an undead mage is I thought that armor was everything in the game. I, every time I saw a piece of gear that had just plus one more armor than the piece of gear I was wearing, I would replace that piece of gear. Oh, my shoes right now give me 16 armor and plus 10 intellect or something? Man, screw that. I just got a pair of slippers and they give me 17 armor and plus one stamina. So clearly the slippers are better. Mm-hmm. But the worst part is, is I would go to the auction house and spend all my money replacing my gear with armor that just gave plus one or two more armor than the gear that I already had. And so I didn't have any money while leveling. I didn't, I couldn't afford my class skills. I couldn't afford my mount at level 40 because I was blowing all my money on armor. But eventually, after meeting Mr. Granak One-Eye and him buying my mount for me, I made a whole video on that and my how I got my vanilla WoW mount for free thing. Um, he asked me where is all my money going and I explained that I was using it on the auction house and he quickly explained to me that armor for a spellcaster is pretty much pointless and I should be focusing on the intellect and the stamina instead. And um, felt like a big idiot. It was great. And finally, number five. I remember this one time. I was playing my undead mage and I had a group quest. And I got in a group with this other dude that was, you know, he was equal to my level, but it was a five man group quest, so we needed some help. Now we couldn't find any other people around our level to help us out, but luckily there was a level 60 in the area and he was willing to, you know, help us do the quest. So we get in a group with this guy. And the level 60 dude immediately, you know, he starts chatting with us, blah, blah, blah. And I can immediately tell that the guy in my group that is a low level like me, he clearly has a main. He knows what this level 60 dude is talking about because this max level player is saying things like, yep, I'm going to be doing Molten Core later tonight, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I didn't know what they were talking about, so I just sat there quietly and minded my own business as we did the quest. But eventually, that level 60 player asked both of us, hey, do you, do you both have mains and what are your mains? So the first guy, the other dude in my group, he says, oh yeah, I'm so-and-so and I'm in this guild and we're doing this. So he was like, oh, that, yeah, that's cool, that's all right. What about you, undead mage? Do you have a main? Now here's the thing. I was in a group with two people that were veteran players, clearly, and I was the new guy, only like level 18 or 19 at the time, I don't remember. And I didn't want to come off as a complete and total noob to the game. So I lied and said, oh yeah, like I, I've got a main. Yeah, like I, uh, we do, my, me and my guild, we do Molten Core all the time, man. Like, yeah. So the level 60 says, Oh, like Undead Mage. Oh, that's so cool. Like, I'm actually looking for maybe a new raiding guild because I'm not satisfied with these guys. He wasn't too happy with his guild. So he asked me, Oh, like, how how far along in Molten Core are you guys? Are you guys, like, actively doing it? What boss are you guys on? Or have you cleared it all the way? Where are you guys at? And I didn't know the names of any of the bosses in Molten Core. 
but I did know the name of one boss. One level 60 boss. And I prayed, I prayed that it was a Molten Core boss, so I wouldn't come off as an idiot. So I just rolled the dice, and I said, Oh, yeah, we, uh, we, we just killed a Nixia in Molten Core the other night. Yeah, we're, we're at a Nixia in there. <laughs> oh. Yep, so my lie completely failed, and I had to admit that I was a new player, and I was just embarrassed. And, um, the guy just kind of laughed at me, and then he left the group after we were done, you know, doing the quest, and I never saw him again. Alright, so those are five noob moments slash mistakes that I made when I first started playing WoW. But what about you guys? Did you guys make any similar mistakes? Did you guys also think that armor was the most important stat in the game if you were a spellcaster? Let me know your stories in the comments below because I think noob WoW stories are kind of funny, but that's just me. So, yeah. But alright guys, thank you for listening slash watching. I appreciate it. I will see you on the next video, and um, that's pretty much it. I'll see ya.